Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In this video here, uh, this is a continuation of the previous video I made where I uh, where I practice spoken German. Um, I would like to go into more depth uh, of the um, FLR course. Okay, as you can see here, this is the um, course. This is the pocketbook. There are two different types. We have the pocketbook, and then we have the full course, which comes with the audio. Now. <clears throat> The pocket book, the pocket course doesn't come with audio. It's a bit smaller than the other um, the other book, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the the quality of the other book is is not as good. Uh, I mean, the quality is good, but it's not as good as the other one. Like the um, the audio course, the pages you will find the pages are a bit more glossy. They are more glossy than the um, pocket book pages. And the um, the cover, the front cover and the back are there. Both of those are um, they're glossy as well. So I would say overall, the quality of the uh, the quality of the other book is is better. Um, sorry about this. Uh, OK, so that's the pocketbook. All right. Um, before I move on, let me mention that this time, if you guys are familiar with the um, previous FLR course, the previous version, the the levels were separate. Like you could you could buy level one separate. Uh, this time, with for the the book, we've included level two. Okay, so there won't be an individual level one book and in in, in uh, individual level two. So if you if you decide to purchase this course, you will get both levels. All right. So levels one and two. Oh, not that one. All right. So here is the audio course I mentioned. So as I said before, the um, <clears throat> the quality of this is a lot better than the pocketbook. However, the content is exactly the same. There's nothing different when it comes to the content. OK, so keep that in mind. And again, this comes with both levels. It says level two down here because uh, originally um, we were thinking of bringing out individual, you know, books like level two and level one, but decided that we maybe we should just stick with just, you know, level one and two. So this one should say level one and two is it will be corrected. Well, actually, it's already it's already been corrected. I just I just don't have the uh, corrected version here in my files. OK, so that's that. There you have it. <clears throat> um, yeah, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. So this is the audio course. And then you have the pocketbook course that doesn't come with audio, but the content is the same. All right. OK, now moving on, we're going inside of the book. OK. All right. So FLR running over German. So we know that is originally the original name was just FLR and whatever language, whatever language like FLR German, FLR Spanish, FLR French. But the running over is we decide to come up with this as a series. You know, um, we want to we, we decided that it would be cool to just say FLR running over whatever language just as a series, since there will be uh, many languages coming out uh, for this for this series. OK, so that's that. Um, so let's see, we have copyrights, we have acknowledgments. The usual stuff you will see at the beginning of a book. So as you can see here, FLR running over series. FLR running over Italian, over Spanish, etc. How to use this course for level one. Some examples. Then level two. More this short instruction. And then you have the guy here, the index. Where you will find certain things. Each lesson. Abbreviated terms. And here we come to level one. 
All right, so FLR the process. I pretty much explain my philosophy and you know what you need to do when learning a language for the first time. You guys know my philosophy when um, for when I start learning a language uh, for the for the first time. The relevance I like to keep it relevant. And um, if you're new to this, basically I I like to learn the um, interrogatives, certain questions that I know that will be asked when I meet a native speaker. And I provide all of those questions here, and not only the questions but also the um, the answers. So you need to learn the question and learn the answer, how to respond to that question. Okay. So we, you know, in when we were in grammar school or you know in middle school or um, high school, we when we take when we took like the English class, we all, they they always talked about learning the who, what, when, where, why, how, um, but it goes deeper than that when it comes to you know actual conversation you know you need to learn the act certain questions that will be asked guarantee questions okay so all of those are here uh what else do we have other important questions that will be asked have you ever been to the country uh, do you think the language is difficult who's teaching you the language what language are you learning etc so lesson one. So if um, like in the previous version of the FLR course, what happened was um, I, I recommended the student to um, choose either 10 sets or five sets of questions and answers to work on for the week, seven days. But this time um, I've decided to go ahead and choose five sets. OK, five sets. And then there's a predetermined battle point, uh, predetermined battle section and uh, some notes that you should that you that the student will go through during the week so that's the only difference this time I, I chose five sets so as you can see here we have five uh, one two three four five that's the English version hold on for a second okay so you have the English version and then you have the German version and when you get the book on the left side the left side will have the English and the right side will have the German so it's bilingual then you have the FLR notes and here's the predetermined battle point system I mentioned it basically it, it's a situation an example like if you get if you when you meet a native for the first time it, this how it may go down this way so you can actually use this stuff here. Um, you know, you can incorporate whatever this, whatever vocabulary here you learn. You can incorporate it uh, with with your um, with your, the vocabulary you learn and use it for your first encounter with a native speaker. So that's situation one. So that's in English, and of course you have the German version. And you will have the audio for all of these predetermined battles. Okay, FLR notes on these battles. Okay, keyword, let's see. So, keyword bank. So, before um, we had all the keywords lined up, um, we had them all lined up, but this time we decided to make an actual bank for them, title with keyword bank. Now they're not in alphabetical order, so but that doesn't really matter as long as you have all the keywords you need to incorporate with the sentences that you will be making in these lessons. And this keyword bank will be in every lesson. Okay, so you won't have to keep flipping back and forth to find a keyword it will be in that and that's in whatever lesson like once you get to lesson five the same keyword bank will be there all right FLR notes lesson two same deal you have five sets one two three four five English then you have your German okay predetermined battle point system again that's situation two FLR notes. So yeah, 
that's 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 the layout lesson three so there are a total of 12 lessons in level um, level one has a total of 12 lessons but I should mention level or lesson 11 I actually I wouldn't really consider that a lesson is basically um, basically what that is it's a uh, lesson 11 has very useful idiomatic expressions that you can um, incorporate with uh, previous sentences or whatever you've learned you can it's always good to learn uh, some fun funny expressions and that's what level what lesson lesson 11 has okay so it's not really a um, lesson like the other ones you've been working on okay All right. All righty. Where are we? Nine. Okay, we're coming to the end. Oh, look at that mouse. Huh. So this is what I was talking about. Lesson 11 has idiomatic, idiomatic special expressions. But unfortunately, I should say that this doesn't have audio. OK, so there is no audio for these expressions. And then lesson 12 is basically an introduction sample. So once the student comes to this point, you should he or she should be able to um, introduce make a make a basic introduction like this one so here I provided an, a um, a sample for myself English here of course this is pretty old it says I'm 28 years old I'm older now huh <laughs> but that's English and then I have the German And you're probably wondering why I have a lot of these words in parentheses. Those are those are the those are the keywords. Those are the keywords um, I consider. So that's that. All right. So let's move on to level two. Let me explain what's going on there. So basically, level two has a total of what? Twelve. There are twelve readings. Well, I should say eight readings and four exercises exercise readings okay and the eight readings are basically the same from the they, they're the same as the ones from the previous version you just have random like a random text like this one here in English and then it's translated to German or whatever language you're learning okay so there's something that you need to do with of course with these um, with these um, with these readings you don't just read them over and over there I, I give you some instructions on how you need to um, utilize these readings effectively in the um, instructional instructional video so you have a total of eight eight of these readings here now the other four exercises are called their articulation their articulating articulation articulation readings or I'm sorry article alteration exercise that's what they are and they, these are basically articles from like newspapers okay so like this one here is from the Berlin Morning Post online so just kind of like a random article and you know some useful vocabulary that the student can use or, and incorporate with uh, previous learned vocabulary so you have the English and then you have the German and of course it comes with audio just the German part of course all right so level lesson three back to a back to a reading a text okay you have your English then you have your German so it's like one you have one reading and then you go back to our, our um, the um, I always forget article alteration exercise reading article alteration exercise okay and that's what level two is all about so that's pretty much it. Um, if that's it, if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. Um, I will post the link or the links where you can find these books. And um, yeah, 
uh, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for viewing, and uh, I look forward to you guys' comments.